The first of these things not to do is dropping in on another surfer. Now when a surfer takes off closest to the peak, like me in this example, I have right of way. And to drop in on another surfer is when you take off on a wave that somebody else is already on, like we see here. This is a huge no-no and it's easy to avoid. So how do we know exactly who has right of way? Well, this example makes it clear. Here we see a whole bunch of surfers that want this wave, but the surfer who's closest to the peak, the breaking part of the wave, has priority. One variable to this rule can be who's been waiting the longest, but we'll take a look at this a little bit later on. So just make sure that before you catch that wave, that no one else is on the inside closer to the peak and has been waiting longer than you. If you do this, you've done the right thing. Hi guys, it's Ryan and welcome to How To Rip. In today's lesson of the week, I'm gonna share with you a segment from one of my other tutorials from the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you head over there now. And remember to hit that subscribe button. And remember that you can also follow us on Instagram at the Surfers Journey. But let's get into today's video. For almost every surfer out there, when we're surfing, we want peace and harmony out in the water. But if we don't respect each other, conflict can happen. To start off today's video, I want to quickly define what a kook is. This is my definition that I've come up with over 20 years of surfing. Now a common misconception with what a kook is, is that a kook relates to a beginner level surfer, but in my opinion, that's totally inaccurate. How can you criticize someone who's out there trying to have a good time and improve their surfing? Remember that everyone has to start from somewhere and you were once exactly like that person. So in my opinion, a kook is someone who's out there disrupting other people's surf sessions. They're out there snaking people, dropping in on people, getting in the way. They only care about their own time and not about anyone else's. So what can you actually do when you're out in the surf to show that you're respectful of everybody else and ultimately you're showing good surfing etiquette? Well, I'm gonna break down three key points that you can do when you're out in the water to show that. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. Remember, you can watch the full video over at the Surfers Journey YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the water. The Surfers Journey now has a range of apparel available, from beanies to t-shirts to hats and coffee cups. For more information on how you can place your order, email thesurfersjourney at gmail.com. Be sure to visit the Surfers Journey and check out some of our other videos, surfing tutorials from point of view, from the air and from the beach, and detailed, honest board reviews. You can also follow us on Instagram where we post hints and tips. Recently I designed our Shield logo, which forms part of our Protector Series range of t-shirts, hoodies and hats. All the profits raised from the sales of these items will be donated to the SAS Resources Fund and the Commando Welfare Trust. These organisations support veterans and their families from the Special Forces units here in Australia. These people have sacrificed greatly for the greater good of our community. And this is my way of trying to give back and say thank you. So the purpose of this is to help raise up our community of like-minded individuals who love to surf and also want to strive to serve the community in the best way they can. That's what this shield represents, that community. Email me at thesurfersjourney at gmail.com to place your order. Thanks guys, together we can make a difference.